bubblegum paper and I am back with another card in my 25 cards in 25 days holiday card series. I'll put a link to the playlist in the upper right corner so you can take a look at the previous cards I've made. Today I'm here with card number four and I'm featuring products from Simon Says Stamp. Here's a close-up of the two cards that I made because I started with one and decided to make two and let's get started. The products I'm using are the Simon Says Stamp Snowflake Block, the Mama Elephant Just a Note Stamps, and the Sizzix Adhesive Sheets. I'm starting with my paper trimming and I'm taking this super pretty glittery cardstock and I'm cutting it down so it's 3 and 13 16 inches wide by 2 and a quarter inches tall. And I'm doing the same with this really pretty purple glittery cardstock as well. Next I'm taking a standard piece of cardstock and cutting it so it's A2 size which is 4 and a quarter inches wide by 5 and a half inches tall. And I'm doing the same with the Sizzix adhesive sheet. Now I'm taking that adhesive sheet and carefully applying it to the back of that cardstock. Next I'm going to die cut the snowflake block out of that same piece of cardstock with the adhesive on the back. I'm using this metal shim and running it through um, the die cut machine. It basically adds an extra layer of pressure and an extra layer so that I can make sure this super intricate die, um, so that all the details in the super intricate die get cut out. So I'm running this through. It's, it's pretty hard to run through so you just have to use a lot of force. Now I'm taking that snowflake and I'm just peeling out um, the intricate die and there's all these little details inside it like the little diamonds and circles and I'm using a paper piercer to pierce all of these out and this is a very sticky endeavor. Um, I'm trying to kind of push it down onto my craft mat so that it sticks to the craft mat instead of sticking to the snowflake die or my fingers. But by the end of this, I was covered in little white pieces of paper. And then I take that and I apply it to the glitter paper. So that's the purple one. And I'm doing that exact same thing with the blue one. This time around, I tried something new. I tried keeping it on the Sizzix adhesive sheet and um, pushing down the elements as fast as I could. Um, onto that sheet. That seemed to work a little better than the first one. So you know, you kind of, you live and learn. <laughs> so I'm taking all those pieces out and then I'm going to put it on the blue glitter cardstock as well. So here's where I noticed that the adhesive on the back of that snowflake die isn't really sticking to the glittery cardstock. So I peeled it off that and um, put it on a piece of regular cardstock just to see if it would stick there. And it sticks there pretty well. So I took it off of the blue glitter paper and I put it instead on a pink and a green piece of paper. So this is when I decided to make card number two. And that seems to stick really well. So I'm going to set those aside. So then I cut out two more snowflakes and I'm using some liquid adhesive to see if this will stick to the glitter paper. Here I'm using Scotch Quick Dry Tacky Glue and I put it into a fine line like micro applicator bottle. Basically it has this really cool needle tip so you can get super fine applications of adhesive everywhere. Um, the glue is still pretty thick and the little needle tip is kind of skinny. So you can see in parts of this I'm using two hands to squeeze the bottle. I think my left hand is like getting a workout, it's getting tired. So occasionally the white, the right hand will jump in and help out. Either that or I'll just squeeze my, with my whole fist. <laughs> Anyhow, I did that with both the purple and the blue sheets of paper and I'm just gonna set those aside to dry. For the stamping, I'm using this really pretty Hero Arts Ombre ink in kind of like a tealy, kind of purpley color. And I'm just using my Fiskars stamp press to line this up so it's centered. And you can see some of my hair too, centered right over that white strip. And I'm doing the same thing. I also have the Hero Arts Ombre ink in a pinkish kind of color. So I'm going to ink that up over the stamp as well. And then line it up. And there you have it. 
Next, I'm taking my Ever Favorite Foam Adhesive and I'm just lining that up along the edges of the two card frames. Now what I did here, um, I made a mistake. I actually should have glued the little snowflake blocks onto the card base first because you'll see here as I'm gluing all of the adhesive down, it's going to make it harder for me to figure out how to line up the snowflake blocks. So if you're doing this at home, or if you're following along, before you add foam adhesive, just use these as guides to lay down the snowflake blocks. So here you can see what I was referring to. I'm using that top layer as a guide still for the snowflake blocks, but it would be much easier if there was no foam adhesive on the back of it. So I'm laying down the snowflake pieces, and then I'm ripping off the foam adhesive and laying down the top of the top layer. I'll do the same with the pink and the green cards. So I'm using that top layer as a guide, gluing the pink layer down. Then I'm going to go in and glue the green layer down. And then um, rip off the foam adhesive. Now what you didn't see on screen is that I actually flipped the pink and the green boxes around so that they would match the same snowflake pattern alignment as the purple and the blue ones. Here are close-ups of the finished cards, and this is a great way to make multiple cards if you're sending them to multiple people. So you can use all your scraps and just make a bunch of cards with these. So thank you all so much for watching card number four of my 25 cards in 25 days holiday card series. If you're interested in more cards, please consider subscribing to my channel. You can follow me on social media at Bubblegum Paper or visit my blog at bubblegumpaper.com. I'm placing links here for the two most recent cards I've made in the card series. So thanks again, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye!